Hi guys, today in this video we are going to solve practice problem 8.1 from Sadiqo book. The statement is this switch in figure 8.4 was open for a long time but closed at t is equal to 0. Determine i of 0 plus v of 0 plus di of 0 plus by dt and same for v and i of infinity and v of infinity. So let's go to the problem. As in statement the switch was open for a long time. So at before t of 0 minus it means before the switch was uh, before the switch was uh, open so this part included after when the switch is closed so before t is 0 minus the circuit was this 2 ohm resistor and as we know capacitor is open circuit similarly 10 ohm and inductor is short circuit and this voltage source remains same 24 volt and I so in part A we have to find I of 0 plus and V of 0 plus so in order to find plus case we should go in minus case Remember here plus means after switch is closed and minus mean before switch. This depends on conditions. So in order to find the voltage of capacitor, as we know the capacitor is parallel with 2 ohm resistor, so voltage of 2 ohm will be the voltage of capacitor so apply voltage divider rule v of 0 minus vc 2 divided by 2 plus 10 multiply the applied voltage 24 volt so this will become vc of 0 minus is equal to 4 volt and i we the current of inductor Similarly, apply ohm law. 24 divided by 2 plus 10. I is equal to V by R. This will give us 2 ampere. So, as by continuity rule, the voltage of capacitor does not change immediately and current of inductor does not change immediately. So, the answer of part A is equal to i l of 0 minus is equal to i l of 0 plus is equal to 2 ampere and v c of 0 minus is equal to v c of 0 plus is equal to 4 volt so we have done part 1 in part 2 we have to find d i of 0 plus by dt and d v of 0 plus by dt so suppose now switch is closed Draw diagram on the other part. Now the switch is closed. Two ohm. and this is VC and this is IL. As we know, the capacitor current is equal to IC is equal to C D V by DT, and from here we can find this term. This is DV of zero plus by DT is equal to IC by C, and VL is equal to LDI by DT. And from here we can find this term. This term is equal to VL by L. So we have to find current of capacitor and voltage of inductor. So first we will find voltage of inductor. So this is short circuited. The 10 ohm resistor will no long remain. So remove this. Okay. The circuit is totally this part. Is now remaining 
so fine we will apply kvl in this loop this will become minus 24 plus vl or 0 plus plus vc plus vc is equal to 0 as we know we find we already find vc which was actually 4 volt yes 4 volt so put 4 in it minus 24 plus 4 plus vl of 0 minus equal to 0 so vl of 0 minus will be minus uh, sorry 20 volt from here we okay from here we can find this condition put value of vl and the value of inductor the value of vl is 20 and inductor is 0 0.4 and this will give us 20 divided by 0 0.4 will give us 50 50 ampere per second this is answer and now find this condition we have to find the current of capacitor so as we know the same voltage of uh, 2 ohm is equal to the voltage of capacitor so voltage of capacitor is 4 volt we already find it so we can here find the current of 2 ohm so pi of 2 ohm is equal to 4 by 2 which is 2 ampere and now apply kcl at this node a so the current il is entering and ic is leaving and i of 2 ohm is leaving so ic we already find 2 ampere and already we have find actually these both are uh, sorry this is 2 ampere and this was already 2 ampere we have already find so apply kcl and this node il of 0 plus entering and these are all so this was the value of il of 0 minus we have to find ic ic is equal to il minus i of 2 ohm and this will be 2 minus 2 and ic is equal to 0 ampere so put ic in it so dv of 0 plus by dt is equal to 0 as the numerator is 0 so we already find these two conditions now we have to find i of infinity and v of infinity so at infinity case the capacitor will open circuit and inductor will short circuit this is 24 volt and this is 2 ohm so i of infinity will be 24 by 2 ampere and v of infinity will be 24 volt as this is one voltage source is connected so this was problem number 8.1 thank you for watching